Spanish in North America. So why did Columbus come to America? First off, it was basically bad math. He was trying to find a faster way to reach Asia. He thought the Earth was much smaller than it was, actually was. Everybody at the time knew the Earth was round, and they thought it was basically as big as it is. But Columbus being egotistical and thought that his math, the way it worked out, basically thought the Earth was roughly 18,000 miles, a few thousand miles smaller in diameter. So, basically he thought the area of the United States North America was not there. He thought he had a shot to Asia by sailing west. The main reason he wanted to find this route west was to get rich and he wanted to become famous by finding this route. How did European contact change the Americas? The native population was devastated. The Europeans brought over diseases that the Native Americans did not have any type of immunity to because they had not been exposed to them, such as smallpox, chickenpox, measles, mumps. When these diseases were introduced to the Native Americans, it decimated whole tribes. They were wiped out from high mortality rates because of the illnesses. The explorers were also extremely brutal. They would For example, uh, Christopher Columbus on his second trip to the Americas, him and his crew basically wiped out one whole island's worth of natives because they would not turn over gold and silver didn't matter the natives didn't have any gold and silver he basically went around asking a group of natives where it was, where their gold and silver was and then they wouldn't tell him so he would kill them and the spanish also would take the natives and turn them into forced labor or slaves and the native americans aztecs mayans Seminoles, to name a few, would not do well as forced labor. They would prefer to die as to work as slaves. Another way the European contact changed the Americas was that they took land they cleared it and planted large farms which were known as plantations so what motivated Spain's conquest land gold and silver land main reason they want you know, land expansion this allowed Spain king and queen to take the riffraff the peasants low-class people ship them over to the Americas to 
clear the land and farm it, raise tobacco, run the mines, what have you. It alleviated the population problem in Spain, alleviated any of the discontent, got rid of malcontents. made area more productive and gold and silver they get gold and silver from here ship it back to Spain it made the Spain richer made the king and queen richer which allowed them to ship more people over here to make this land more productive so all the crops could be shipped back over to Spain so they could sell them to other countries. Tobacco, pineapples, all kinds of exotic fruit and animals. How were the Spanish able to succeed? Like I said, the conquistador, conquistadors were ruthless. They had no problem beating or killing the natives to get what they wanted. The settlers that they sent over this to America were mainly males. So they had to intermarry the native women. This created a mixed race of known as the Mazetos. And this mixed race became the lower end of the upper class or the higher middle class, which created a class system here in the Americas. So you had the pure blood, pure blood Spanish, then you had the Mazetos, mixed bloods, and then under them at the very bottom you had the Native Americans. And then shortly, not too long after this time, you are going to also have the slaves coming, being brought over, which are going to become even lower class than the natives. And then you also have the Roman Catholic Church, who sends over missionaries to convert the natives to Catholicism. Why did missionaries come to North America? The only reason missionaries ever go anywhere is, especially in this case, with the only prime the state religion of Spain being Roman Catholic they came over here to spread the Roman Catholic faith and convert native American the natives to the Roman Catholic faith and what resulted from the spread of missions first native families were separated if a member of the native family accepted and converted to the Roman Catholic faith, that member of the family that converted was required to stay in the mission. The fa family members that did not join the faith were not allowed in the mission, so the families were split up. You might have a mother and a few kids staying in the mission, and then father and the rest of the kids were stuck outside, or you might just have the kids in the mission and the parents and some more of the families stuck outside. When you had the and then you had the native culture destroyed as they were educated in European ways and required to use them. As the missionaries were spreading the faith and converting the natives you basically had them thinking that you know we're not going to translate the Holy Bible into 
all these native languages. So these natives are going to have to learn Spanish. And then we're not going to have these natives coming into our church and cathedrals dressed like savages, so we're going to teach them to dress like proper Europeans. And then we're going to require them to dress like proper Europeans, and we're going to require them to speak like proper Europeans. So they destroyed the... This is one way they destroyed the culture. Another way they destroyed the culture was they would take and destroy large sections of already established cities to get the building materials to build the missions instead of quarrying new materials for the missions. So they would primarily target the existing native temples to the pagan gods, destroy them, and use the building materials from those to build the new missions and outbuildings for the missions.